All right, guys, welcome back to another Lake of the Woods and more fishing report. Took a couple week hiatus, had just a lot of stuff going on. Going to try to get back on a regular schedule here with the fishing report. So let's start out this week. Let's go to Lake Vermilion out at Everett Bay Lodge. Daryl saying one of the things that's kind of a big factor right now is the water temp is still pretty low. It's only around 70 degrees, been uh, cooler nights. Some rain has kept the water temps down a little bit. He said, so that is making fishing a little bit more difficult. He said walleyes are really relating to shallow rocks right now. Uh, the sh rocks on the shoreline, shallow weed lines. There are some out on mid lake structure and mid lake, mid -Lake reefs and on breaks and some ledges but they're a little more difficult to find and they're not as active. Daryl said the, the feeding windows really seem like they're pretty short, but he says if you can get on a school of fish and you can time that feeding window just right, you're gonna catch your limit very, very quickly. Those fish are aggressive, but it's for short periods of time and it's on key locations. The best method on targeting walleyes right now, crawlers and harnesses. He said you can target some suspended walleyes out over deeper water, but he says there's not really a lot out there, but you can, you can fish it, you can target it with crankbaits and lead core. Some guys are catching some fish that way, but it's not lights out by any means. Now, as far as musky fishing, he said the musky action has been really, really good. Very, very heavy. So they're catching some really big northerns also. So kind of the key thing is the weather patterns are kind of kicking these fish into high, into overdrive. And at the same time, a cold front will come through and we'll shut these fish down. So it's really weather dependent. We're getting into those dog days of August here, but that means fall is right around the corner and fishing should really, really pick up. So a little bit slower on Vermilion right now, still catching fish, but those you've got to get on the, the right time and be in the right place. If you're looking to get out to Lake Vermilion, make sure you get in touch with Daryl from Everett Bay Lodge. Moving over to Devil's Lake, talk to Mark Bry from Bry's Guide Service. Said fishing out there is steady. Right now, your your best way to find walleyes, bottom bouncers and spinners, and, uh, hammered silver, hammered gold are, are some of the better colors. Trolling crankbaits with lead core is a close second. And if you can find leeches, I guess leeches are, are getting to be hard to find right now. They are getting some, but they're going quickly. But if you can find some leeches, slip bobber and a leech is still working too some recent bug hatches has scattered fish a little bit they're looking for them in 10 to 20 feet of water over the mud you need to cover water and that's where the bottom bouncers and spinners and crankbaits are coming in very very handy you can still find some fish on the old shorelines on the east uh, east side of the lake 18 to 24 feet is where you want to really look if you find some structure you can you control over it Troll over the tops first. If you're not finding any, any fish on the top, then you need to start looking around the edges and off into the mud a little bit. By doing that, you should catch some walleyes out on Devil's Lake. If you're looking to get out on Devil's Lake and you're looking just going on your own, don't forget about Ed's Bar and Bait. They got tackle, bait, off sale, convenience items, propane, fuel, all that. If you're looking to get out that way, make sure you get in touch with Ed's Bar and Bait and Bry's Guide Service. Moving on over a little bit farther west out to Lake Sakakawea, talk to Mike Peluso, Mike Peluso's Outdoors. Sakakawea is still firing really well right now. The fish are on the move, so you gotta be on the move too. It says up shallower is a really good bite with some pretty nice fish, uh, slow death and a half a crawler. Jigging wraps are working too. He said those walleyes can be a little trickier to catch, but if you're looking for bigger fish, it's gonna be worth it to spend your time in that shallower water. If you're looking for numbers, 16 to 30 feet is holding a lot of smaller fish overall. A couple of different ways that you can catch these fish, just vertical jigging a jigging wrap or you know, uh, spot locking and casting out a jigging wrap, working that back to the boat. That's working if you can get on some deeper islands, kind of that same method has been working and it's also producing some fish. Mike's pretty booked up for August. He's pretty booked up for September, but you can always Call and get your name on a list if you've got some cancellations. But if you're wanting to get out on Lake Sakakawea and later later this year out on Devil's Lake, he does some late, late fall trips on the Missouri River as well. Make sure you get in touch with Mike Peluso, Mike Peluso's Outdoors. So moving up to Lake of the Woods, talk about the water levels just a little bit. They're starting to slow the water down coming from Rainy Lake. That's starting to level out and get to actual normal levels. So that's gonna, over the next week, they're predicting that we're just gonna lose a couple inches. But after after that, in the next couple weeks, they're really starting to predict that the water, albeit if we have no storms, the water level should start to go down dramatically. So that's good news. Gonna be good news for the resorts and good news for the guys wanting to use the launches. The launches up in Bodette are good. Wheeler's Point is good. Not really been an issue other than just a little more current, but not really a big issue if you're looking to get up that way. 
Uh, the report from Lake Road Lodge this week. There's numerous ways to catch walleyes right now. You can go out in deeper water. You can jig with a jig and a frozen shiner. Stick with that gold, gold pink, uh, white colors. That's going to be doing the best. If you're getting on some structure, you can find some, some fish there as well. Work the tops, work the sides, transition points. Drive around a little bit if you're using electronics. Look for marks. You can definitely pull spinners. Mostly going to be using crawlers. You can use some minnows, but crawlers kind of has has the edge right now pulling spinners 0.8 to 1.2 miles per hour depending on the day and also lead core with crankbaits is working too or downriggers if you're using those between two and three miles per hour get over some deep water also some fish up shallow i hear too so you know don't forget that 12 to 20 foot of water i've heard some stuff around pine island is pretty good so don't don't forget about that as well especially with wind directions wind directions is going to be a key for making that bite better some days than others if you want to book a trip out on lake of the woods out of the bothead area or if you're just looking for a motel marshall's got pretty much everything there at lake road lodge fish cleaning shack meal rooms motels clean comfortable rooms at good prices if you want to get up on lake of the woods out of Bodette, get in touch with marshall from lake road lodge got a chance to talk with wes from west harder's guide service over the past week he's been pulling spinners hammer gold gold colors and also some red Crawlers and fatheads. Crawlers has a little bit of an edge, but he is catching some fish, pulling spinners with minnows as well. Wes said he's been really keying in on sandbars and shallow rocks. That's been uh, what's been very successful for him as of late. Good place to look, 14 to 24 feet. That's, that's been the best water depth for him. If you're pulling crankbaits in deep water, that's gonna work. He says if you're jigging, you wanna find some areas with some current. Current areas are holding some walleyes. You're going to need to go farther north for that, but with the higher water, the current has accelerated a little bit. So if you are jigging, orange, purple, and green are some colors you might want to try. West does have some openings in September, so if you're wanting to get on a Lake of the Woods, launch out of the War Road area, make sure you get in touch with Wes from West Harder's Guide Service. Staying in the War Road area on Lake of the Woods, talk to Aaron from True North Guide Service. He says jigging early in the morning and late in the afternoon in the Whiskey Flats area has been producing for him. A lot of eater-sized walleyes and good eater-sized saugers too. 24 to 28 feet of water is kind of where he's been looking for those. Frozen shiners, anything gold for colors, gold and pink, and pink and white is working too, and also white has worked. You can also try some orange. Those have been some colors of jig heads matched with those frozen shiners that he's been using. He's also been pulling spinners in 14 to 22 feet, about 0.9 to 1.2 miles per hour. Fire Tiger and again, gold colors has been working, crawlers and minnows. He says leeches are really good, but leeches are getting tough to find right now as we get later in the year. So the walleye bite versus saugers, the walleyes have been a little finicky, a little bit tougher to get them to bite. Saugers are pretty much aggressive. So maybe just be a little more subtle, catch a few more walleyes. A good crankbait bite also 34 to 38 feet. Using lead core, trolling about 2.7 miles per hour, catching some fish that way. Aaron's got some, got a few openings coming up here and there. So if you want to get up on Lake of the Woods on a guided trip, get in touch with Aaron from True North Guide Service. So that is what I got to throw at you for this week, for this week's fishing report. Like I said, took a little hiatus, hoping to get back on track here, get, a, get uh, some more uploads and, and really trying to get out fishing. It's been a busy summer for me and it's going way too fast. I'm sure you can relate to that. Appreciate you watching the fishing report. Hope it helps you out. Hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors, and we'll see you on the next one.